Uh, Shalom, Apostle Hart, coming back at you with this truth, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to call this If you don't have passion for this truth, I'll leave it as a question mark. If you don't have passion, what is truth? Question mark. Uh, this is the scene right here. A uh, 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 still of a of a, a scene from a uh, uh, hurricane, the movie uh, starring Denzel Washington. Um, this is on YouTube. I'll leave the uh, link in the description box. Uh, Denzel Washington's perform performance in Hurricane. And uh, you can watch it, and um, when you get up to uh, about 1 minute and 50, 1 minute and 51 seconds in of a 200, two, 2 minute and 22 second clip, he's, you can see the passion in his eyes. He's, a, he's an actor, of course, obviously, but, you know, when you, when you see this scene and when you see the film, you know, he transforms into uh, a Hurricane uh, Reuben Hurricane Carter, and I remember him when I, when I was a, a child. I saw a couple of fights here and there when he was still fighting, and he was like a he was like a uh, Tasmanian devil. You know, he threw he threw a lot of punches, man. He threw a lot of punches. He came at you like you owed him a lot of money, or you slapped his woman in the ass. You know, he came out, came at you like he wanted to kill you. Even in another scene of this movie, uh, Denzel speaks to the judge, and he said uh, that he was a prize fighter, prize fighter, and we fought men. He he did. He used all the power that he had to bring men to their destruction, but he said, "But I ain't no murderer," and that's one of the scenes right there. If you go to the different scenes, you'll see it. Anyway, uh, you know, at, at one about one minute and fifty one minute and fifty one seconds in, he. <laughs> I remember the scene. He took that phone and he tapped the, that glass to his attorneys talking about they got to take it to a, the federal uh, court because he's, you know, you know, he's been in there for, what, 20 years? And either he's going to die in there or he's going to get free. There's a point where you, you know, take that leap of faith, you know. Anyway, um, the topic is on passion. You know, us being in this truth, you have to be passionate about this truth. If you're not passionate about this truth, then what's the sense? There was a camp, uh, this guy, uh, what's his name, uh, Jesus the Word rolled up on one of the GMS camps. Them guys should have stayed out there. They should have stayed out there, man. You know? This is not about the thing where, well, the camp closes at 7 o'clock. At 7.02, we're going to get out of here. No. If somebody's there, you stay the extra 20 minutes, the extra 30 minutes. Hell, if you're passionate, you, you stay until, it, until that devil leaves. Now, I'm not telling you, you brothers out there teaching, you're going to close up at 8 o'clock or whatever. And somebody stays out there to be out there with you until one o'clock, you know that's stupid. But you gotta have passion. If you don't have passion for this thing, you shouldn't be in the truth. You shouldn't be out there on the highways and the byways, man. In the boxing world, if you ever box, if you ain't got your shit wired tight, you gonna get hurt. You could get killed. So the same thing with this. This is a spiritual fight, man. 
If you're not passionate about this thing, you shouldn't be in this thing. Anyway, I'm going to go to a couple of scriptures. And I always tell myself, I put up a lot of videos, but I always tell myself, I should do more. I should do more. If there's 500 men in GMS that have been in this thing for at least a year, all every last one of you should be supposed to be constantly putting up videos, man. It's the same 10 faces I see all the time putting up videos. What, what's up with the rest of y'all, man? There was over 2,000 2, plus people going back to the One West days. And they all fell off. And they all went back in the world. They were all getting ready to get, get a chip and eat a missile. Anyway, uh. Like I said, I want to bring up uh, a couple of scriptures. Bear me for a minute. Yeah, okay, I'll read this one. It says, uh, Hebrews 11, verse 6, But without faith, faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. That's not the scripture that I wanted, but that's a good scripture. Okay, this is what I wanted. Uh, Hebrews 6 verse 11. You know what I wanted? Um... I'll start at Hebrews 6, verse 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forgive, for forget your work and labor of love, love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints, the fellow Israelites, and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. 12. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Now the word slothful is from the Greek uh, no thrust. And it means slow, sluggish, indolent, dull, languid, or languid. So let me read that again. 
Hey, this truth is about being passionate, man. You know, you got guys that come in strong, then they, it ain't in there. They're going through the motions. I'll read the 11th verse again. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full insurance of hope in, unto the end, that ye may be not slothful, but followers of them who, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Bring up a couple more scriptures. Okay, this is uh, Math Matthew. I could read the one in Matthews or the one in Mark or the one in Luke. I'll read uh, Matthew five verse thirteen. It says, ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth, thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. So we are the salt of the earth. On a spiritual level, it's talking about the men of the Lord. The ones of us that go out there on the highways and the byways that push these uh, videos, that do these sit-downs, that, that constantly defend the gospel. You know, we have that salt, salt in us. So if the salt, you know, you salt something, you take, a, you take salt and put it on a steak, and it doesn't taste salty enough. You put a little bit of more. Then you say something wrong. This, this salt has no, no flavor to it. And you throw it out. So we are that salt. Let me read that again. Matthew 5 verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savior. Uh, wherewith shall it be salted? It is then forth good for nothing. But to be cast out. And to be trodden under foot of men. Okay, last scripture. Revelation 3. I'll go to, uh, normally I start at the 14 verse. Yeah, I'll start the 14 verse. Uh, Revelation 3 verse 14 and unto the angel of the church of, of the Laodiceans write these things saith the amen the uh and I say so be it instead of amen the the faithful and true witness the beginning of the creation of the most high 15 verse I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot I would that thou were cold or hot so then, because thou art lukewarm, and we got a lot of guys in GMS that are lukewarm, that have no passion. So then, because that, because thou, now we just read in, in Matthews about that salt, that the salt's going to be thrown out. So when I read that scripture in Matthew, I immediately thought about Revelation, the third chapter. It says, so then because that thou art lukewarm, and there's a lot of guys in GMS that are lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of thy mouth. This is what the Most High said. He's not a man that he should lie. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said, he's not a man that he should lie. He said, if you're lukewarm, he will spew you out of his mouth. 17 verse and this this 
goes to the other camps out there too. Because thou sayest I am rich. Because a lot of these camps have became rich. Have came into a lot of money. And increased. And if you notice when you come into a lot of money. Normally you don't have that same passion. You know looking at us here at Great Millstone. Here the winter's right around the corner. We're going to be out there through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, throughout the whole winter like we did last year, the year before, 10 years before, 20 years before. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increase, increase with goods and have need of nothing, and knoweth not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, and you're that gold that thou mayest be rich and white remnant that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Nineteen. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Now the word zealous Zalo'o, Greek, from the Greek, G2206. Now check this out. Now this this topic is based upon passion, right? So zeal is zealous. Being zealous is a uh, another way of saying passion. It says to burn with zeal, to be heated, or to boil with envy, hatred, anger, in a good sense, to be zealous in the pursuit of good, to desire earnestly, pursue. To desire one earnestly, to strive after, uh, busy oneself about him. Busy oneself about what? About who? This truth. The Lord, the Lamb. Pursuant to Revelation, the 14th chapter, we follow the Lamb whithersoever ever he goeth. Wherever you see in GMS, follow an actual Lamb. That Lamb is talking about Yahweh Shai. How do we follow that, that, that Lamb through the book? Lo, I come in the volume of the book, is, it is spoken of me. In uh, St. John the uh, 14th chapter, when we did a, a GMS in transit on St. John 14, uh, 15, and 16. And um, the, the, the Lord, uh, Yahweh Shai, tells the uh, apostles that he will not leave you. He will come, come, come to them. He will not leave them comfortless. He says, I will, behold, I will send you the comforter. And what, who or what is the comforter? The comforter is the book. B by, in other words, you're, you're being, your eyes are being opened to the book when you read and the Spirit works through you, through, through the teachers. Uh, uh, Romans, uh, uh, Romans, 10, 13, uh, Romans 10 verse 13 on down, the most I set up teachers to teach you. To exert oneself for, for one, that he may not be torn from me. To be the object of the zeal of others, to be zealous, sought after, to envy. So that's another way of saying passion. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom. And I'm going to say this again. If you're not passionate about this truth... then you, you shouldn't be in this truth, man. This is a gift that was given to you by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You should be always watching the news. You should be always watching for prophecies. You know, when you see something out there, when you see something on the news... 
breaking news. Earthquake, like there was an earthquake, what was it, last night, yesterday, in Mexico, a major earthquake. There was another one about a week before that, week and a half before that. So right away, you should think about Matthew's uh, 24, uh, Luke 21. And that should um, lift up your spirit when you should see earthquakes in diverse places. You know, watch for these prophecies. We're in the time of these prophecies coming to pass. We're in the time of, the, of, of this book being open, being unsealed. The seven seals were loosed. So what the hell are you, what, what the hell are you being lukewarm for? Either you believe in this truth and you're passionate about this truth or you're not. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say, uh, y'all, I'm going to say this before I close. You know, you guys got these multiple camps. You, you might have two camps, three camps out there. You might have one camp that's, there's no passion in that camp. Well, you put somebody in there that's going to put fire to the rest of those guys' asses, man. Or you just close the camp and you merge it with another camp. Stop going through the motions and do the work, man. Or the most high is going to get rid of you. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shal uh, Shalom. Most high getting ready to destroy this place. You better get with the program. Shalom.